Prior to seeding, soil phosphate is present in both unavailable and available forms. At seeding, phosphate fertilizer is placed in a band. Most of the phosphate fertilizer is available at time of application. However, due to soil chemistry, most fertilizer phosphate quickly converts to unavailable forms. By the time the roots reach the fertilizer band, much of the phosphate is unavailable. In fact, up to 90% of applied phosphate fertilizer goes unused in the year of application. Phosphate is not mobile in the soil. Plant roots have to grow to it and virtually touch the granule before the plant can absorb phosphate. Plants on the right and left have roots that grew long enough and in the right direction to access the available phosphate while the plant in the middle did not. The seed on the left has been treated with jump start. As the roots grow, the jumpstart fungus grows along the roots and secretes compounds that release the bound phosphate so it can be taken up by the plant. The result? More soil and fertilizer phosphate is available for plant uptake for more vigorous crops with higher yields. Mm -hmm.